Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. The door's shut behind us, there's no turning back now. The only thing we have left to do is to make Lance our bitch. I have been waiting for you. And I have been waiting for this moment since you hyperbeamed that innocent man in the chest and he bled out on the floor. <laughs> Knew that with your skills you would eventually reach me here just to dethrone you. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us, the most powerful trainer as Pokemon League Champion. Accept your challenge. Okay, here we go. Even though he's the lowest level champion in any Pokemon game ever, he is still a challenge. He leads off with Gyarados level 46, not 56, Jesus Christ. Since Gyarados is far higher than level 56 in the rematches. Anyway, leads off with that and he will probably lead off with Rain Dance. Or Waterfall, you know that works too. Gyarados actually has relatively decent special attack, that's why I was trying to paralyze him. And, okay. And you make me flinch, you little bitch. Time to just go with Thunderbolt. Anyway, in the original game, he would always lead off with Rain Dance, so if you had Ampharos, it would be a good bet to use Thunder here. Sweet. Paralysis. So, okay, Thunderbolt. I'm going to heal up Ampharos, because I'm going to need Ampharos to tank some more hits after this. Because... I honestly didn't think Lance threw... Okay, never mind. Critical hit. Ampharos is gonna have to be healed when I send out a meat shield. Okay, here we go. Alright, level 44 Ampharos. Nice. I swapped off my held items off screen. Dragonite is his next Pokemon. I really hope that skipping doesn't become an issue, because then I'm gonna have to restart my recording again. And I used a rare candy on a Quanta to get her up, him up to level 46. The reason I'm sending out a Quanta is because I'm willing to bet, yep. This is his Fire Blast one, level 50. It's gonna have Fire Blast, Outrage, Hyper Beam, and something else. Either way, uh, Safeguard. Safeguard prevents him from being um, afflicted with any status ailment, so don't try to use it if you're not gonna outspeed him. Anyway, Ice Beam is quad effective against him, but he's got great stats, so he might survive this. Damn it, Sliver of Health! And a Citrus Berry, which means he's gonna get an Outrage off. Unless he's smart and uses an item here, so I'm gonna use Ice Beam anyway. Oh jeez! Oh god, oh jeez, not fun. Very pain, much pain, such pain. Much sorrow. Awesome! Thank you, Aquana, and your relatively good special defense for only taking 85 damage from a 50, level 50 Dragonite Hyper Beam. If that was Giga Impact, that probably would've sent me down to red health, though. Well, at least now I know I can take out his other two Dragonites with relatively ease, but first... He's probably going to send out his Thundering one. Which means if he does use Thunder, if I send out Zenzak as a Meat Shield, he probably won't get a second chance to do anything else. Because my whole plan for Zenzak in this fight is send him out on his Meat Shield, and if he survives, use Explosion. Level 49, this one will probably know Thunder, Hyper Beam, Outrage, and Safeguard. His Dragonites pretty much have the same exact movesets, except each one of them has a different elemental attack. Alright, and... Okay, this one knows Thunder Wave, so good luck trying to outspeed him ever again. And... Actually, that makes me think he's probably going to, uh... Yeah, he's probably going to try to Thunder Wave Aquana, so I should heal up Aquana now. I think Aquana might be able to withstand a Thunder, but he also may not. Alright, so he missed, so... I also used an Ether to get Sludge Bomb up back up to 10. Let me try poisoning him. Wow, I'm getting lucky for once. For once, Thunder has accuracy of 70, 70 against me. No longer protect- Oh! I forgot, Safeguard protects the entire goddamn team. Well, time to explode. If he survives. Dragonite may not have good special attack, but his stats are still really good. Awesome! Nuclear explosion! And yes, this Thunder Dragonite is taken care of. Oh god, this fight just got a lot easier. I probably didn't even need to heal Quana. Thank you, Zenzak, for actually proving very, very, very freaking useful. Now, he still has three Pokemon, and if I send out Braxis, he'll send out... No. Or he could send out... Sure. Um, in any situation, Raiju would be a good one to use here. Yep, he's sending out his other Dragonite, just like I thought. Level 49 again, this one with Blizzard. 
and all the other moves that go with it. Now this one does Dragon Rush, a very powerful physical dragon type move that's basically like takedown except only with 85 power. With a wide lens that's very dangerous. Anyway, I'm using Thunder Wave so that way uh, I can just hopefully try to whittle him down before he kills me with Dragon Rush. If I had sent out Aquana, he would have sent out uh, Aerodactyl. And if I had sent out, um... If I had sent out, um... Typhlosion, he also would have sent out Aerodactyl. So, alright, let's see what we got here. Um... Let's see, Thunderbolt... Let me do some math on my phone here. So, same type attack bonus as 1.5, right? So, Thunderbolt's 90 times 1.5 equals... So, Thunderbolt would do 103.5 damage. With, if it hits, with same type attack bonus. So I, I should probably use Focus Blast here. It would do more damage. Oh wow, I'm actually getting lucky with the few times I'm using Focus Blast that's actually hitting. Come on! Wow. Oh, I forgot he's part flying! <laughs> that was dumb of me. Uh, go back to using Thunderbolt then. <laughs> oh great, I forgot he... Wow! Quick Claws! Paralyzed and can't move! Is it going to be Quick Claw Paralyzed Can't Move Again? Nope. If he gets down to red health, he's going to use one of his three full restores. I just realized that. Yep. Paralyzed and can't move. Called it. Anticipating the AA, AI like a boss. AA. <laughs> Artificial something something. God damn you, Ampharos. Oh, he keeps missing, so this is like the Battle of the Ineps here. I don't want to send out, um... No, I will send out a Aquana after one more Thunderbolt. Because apparently Dragonite's constantly paralyzed. Alright. Alright, now I'm definitely guaranteed to KO him one shot with an Ice Beam. I'm surprised he's constantly trying to use Dragon Rush, honestly. He normally goes for the elemental attacks. Jesus Christ, this Dragonite's, like, twitching at this point. Constantly unable to move due to paralysis. And... This should do it for at least this Dragonite. And there he goes! So basically using Explosion won this battle for me quite easily, because if that Thunder Dragonite had been allowed to kill him without being killed, then Aquana would have had a very bad time trying to take him down. Aerodactyl, level 48. Has pressure, so doubles power point uses. It's very fast and has very good... Oh, Jesus! Oh god, I did not anticipate him having Thunderfang. And I flinched, but I can survive another one. As I said, very fast and has great attack, and I completely forgot he can learn the Fang moves. God damn it! Two flinches in a row, that's really annoying. Yeah, I, I think his moveset is like Thunderfang, Hyper Beam, Rock Slide, and Sky Attack? I don't know. Aerial Ace, okay. Would that have killed me, actually? Oh yes, it most certainly would have. Now, can you please not be flinched from Thunderfang? Please, I don't feel like spamming items or switching. Super effective. Thank you! You can finally use Surf, god. Forever? Probably won't even one-shot KO him, honestly. Oh, okay, well, I completely forgot Aerodactyl's weakest status, special defense. Awesome. So yeah, be careful using anything but Quagsire against that in terms of water types. And then Charizard is his next Pokemon. Let's go with the Battle of the Fire types, why not? Honestly, now's the time where I wish I had kept Rollout on uh, Hustino here. Because Rollout would have basically won this battle for me. Level... F I can't speak, apparently level 48. And he's got... probably got Flamethrower... And something else. Anyway, I, I completely forgot that I only have one good attack again. Air Slash, which is actually a good move for Charizard. Chance to flinch. High special. Jesus Christ. I also gave uh, him a Citrus Berry. One of the two I had. I gave my other Citrus Berry to... Uh... I can't speak, apparently. I gave it to uh, Xena down there. I'm willing to bet that somehow, some way, when I switch back out... Charizard's gonna know uh, Thunderfang, and it'll be annoying. Yeah, I really should have kept Rollout on Houston, you know. 
because I would have only gotten two attacks, but they both would have been quad effective. I love that my starter was the one that fainted in this fight. Well, Bra well, Zenzak too, but I just used him as a nuclear device, so... <laughs> and sir, Air Slash again. Please don't flinch. You've been prone to flinching in this battle. Okay, good. So yeah, I think he has Flamethrower, Air Slash, Hyper Beam, and something else. I'm honestly surprised he hasn't been spamming Hyper Beam more, and that's that. Basically, the Dragonites are the huge issue there. If you can outspeed them and take them out in one shot, this battle is yours. And level 47, sweet. That'll help getting on the path to the gym leaders in Kanto. It's over. Odd feeling, I'm not angry and lost. In fact, I feel happy. The wise of a great new champion. Thank you for the money. If I'd gotten an amulet coin out there, that would have been 20 grand. Oof. Become truly powerful. Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Alright, let's go get my... Who is this? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so now you're insulting an old man because he can't move quickly. Wow, what an insensitive bitch. Certainly look more impressive. The conquest of the League is just fantastic. Dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding, too, of course. Well, yeah, it wasn't anything to do with skill, no. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they persevere. Congratulations, butters. Let's interview the brand new champion. How about no? No interviews, please. It's getting a bit too noisy. Could you come with me? Yeah, sure, as long as you don't hyperbeam me in the chest. We haven't even done the interview! Ah! An interviewer's worst fate, being denied a golden opportunity for an interview. This place certainly looks more impressive than last time. It's been a long time since the last came here. This is where we commemorate the League Champions for all eternity. Really? I mean, these things stand the test of time. What if a meter were to crash into it? Does it commemorate the champions then? The courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new League Champion has all the makings of greatness. Allow me to register you and your partners as champions. One change I shall make to champion is no use of Hyper Beam on human beings and destroying their chest cavities and letting them bleed out in hallways. First, Palu, Raiju, Ampharos, level 44, Meta Route 32. Next, Typhlosion, my main, Hustino, level 44, Met New Bark Town, start of my journey. Next, Weezing, Zenzak, level 43, Meta to Burn Tower, useful for exploding. Tauros, Braxis, level 43, met at Route 38, mainly used for Morty and then became a very valuable member of the team. Next, Xena, Scyther, level 44, met at National Park, very good against bug, grass, anything. <laughs> Vaporeon, Aquana, met in Goldenrod City, level 47, very useful all around. Pokemon League Champion. It only took me 21 hours and 24 minutes. Saving. Do not turn off the power. I will just probably use save states after this to make sure it saves pro properly. As long as my recording doesn't corrupt, that is. It takes a while to save in this version, by the way. It takes forever. There we go. And because... Because why not? We're going to show the credits. Got some spazzing out Pokeballs here. Got um, Elm down there with his three starters just walking casually, so nothing's wrong. Anyway, for those of you who are new to the series wondering, yes, I do plan on doing Kanto. I ended my old channel before I can do Kanto. I arrived in Vermilion City, and that's after when I ended my old channel. But I do plan on doing uh, that. I also plan on doing all the Gym Leader rematches, by the way. And then after that, I also do plan on rematching the Elite Four before matching up with Red. So, pretty much one of the first things I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be getting to Kanto, and I'm going to try to get as many of the uh, gym leader phone numbers as I can while there, before doing anything else. And then you need to call them on certain days, and they'll appear at the Fighting Dojo in Saffron City, and they won't leave until you rematch them. So, I plan on getting all 16 gym leaders in there, before rematching any of them. Although the gym leader rematches are very good for experience. As a matter of fact, I think the gym leader rematch with Blue, he's actually got uh, comparable Pokemon to Lance's rematch. 
So yeah, I actually made a list of all the ways to get the new rematches, so that's good. Oh, that fan bee is so cute! I honestly, um, uh, instead of uh, Braxis, I anticipated using a fan bee on my team, and um, whatever the evolution of fan bee is, I can't remember. Teddy Ursa is exclusive to Pokemon Soul Silver, so no Teddy Ursa's for you. Anyway, Chuck's actually the. E I think. I'm pretty sure Chuck is the easiest uh, to obtain the phone number. You just need to go to his wife outside his gym and then call him at a certain date. And uh, let's see, what else was I going to say? Uh, I'm. Hmm. I'm going to keep the same layout I have had throughout. Uh, my series since it changed for the SSM, but then I'm going to be switching my layout and my thumbnails for the entire of Kanto, so you'll be treated to a new thumbnail for the uh, parts and a new uh, layout, so that's wonderful. I worked pretty hard on it, so I'm quite proud of it. Uh, what else? What else? I am in. I might change Zenzak up for someone else while in Kanto, but I haven't decided on who yet, or if I'm even going to do it. Because I'm not sure how useful Zinzak will be when I do all the uh, gym leaders and such. But yeah, I do like this credit screen, except the hoppets look like on, they're on fucking crack. I mean, look at them! They look nuts! They look like something you might see in a horror film. Hi, Mom! Mom! Lance killed someone! Comfort me! Make me cheeseburgers! The end. At least until next time on Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold, we will take on the SSN and get to Vermilion Cities. Cities. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care.